Then you look at the fact, and I document at least a half and a half a dozen countries in Breaking Biden, where the Biden family is doing deals. And in almost all of these instances, you see favorable policy from Joe Biden. Now, I don't have subpoena power. I'm I, I'm just a little bit bigger than you, Stephen, and not but not, but not by much. I'm in my home office. I had a team of five part-time investigators help me on the book. Uh, I don't have subpoena power. I don't have a big staff and a big congressional office uh, and uh, several friends in Congress going through stuff for me. And I was able to track down probably north of 20 international deals. And all of them involve different policies being favorable from either Vice President or President Biden. Um, I did a write-up of one just earlier this week of, uh, of, of Frank Biden, who had gotten a deal in Costa Rica with taxpayer guaranteed funded loans um, to build real estate, particularly a country club. There is no evidence Frank Biden owes uh, or knows anything about building a country club. There's no evidence at all he should be doing that. And we know the taxpayer money goes into it. Joe Biden single-handedly singled out as vice president that he was going to prioritize commerce in Costa Rica. He also put a big emphasis on sustainable energy and the sustainable energy specifically in Costa Rica. Frank Biden started a sustainable energy company in Costa Rica. This is, there's clearly bribery that's going on, and the governments were all in on it. The governments, as I have the quotes all backed up, say flat out, we were excited to work with the Biden family. It, not just Joe Biden, the Biden family. They knew that the access to the vice president who is now the president, would mean that there would be some cash flowing. And this is how the Bidens have always operated. And you can look at Iraq, you can look at Ukraine, you can look at China over and over. So many countries where the Biden family figured out a way to get money while policy got favorable towards those regions. So uh, are they a crime family? Absolutely. The extent to which they're mobbed up is also another curiosity um, where I, I track down mob connections to Joe Biden's first Senate race, uh, mob connections to uh, Frank Biden's uh, startup charter school business that he started in Florida, which it went belly up and only about 10% of the students in these charter schools were actually competing at grade level. But Frank was flying around on private planes and there was a mob boss who benefited during that transaction. So yeah, I think it's pretty crystal clear. We need some more, I, I think, legal proceedings to really cement that. But hopefully the book is the catalyst that gets people in Washington fired up to get those answers.